everyone! Today we'll be looking through a book called Scam Stories. I wonder what's in it. Hmm, now which one, which one? Wait, I think I read this before. Oh, there's so many juice. Well, this is kind of slow. How about we just blow some wind and let's see what page it goes to. Ah, this story is quite an interesting one. Now, let's dive into it. It's hard to get a job nowadays. Maybe because bots are everywhere and lots of them are taking over jobs. I'm no different from a teen boy who is trying to rob someone for a figure that he won't even use. Who oh, am I kidding? I'm so broke that even robbers will make a blacklist just for me. This is Oshioki and she's trying to get a job. But things are not going the way she planned it. Hi, I am a recruiter and I would like to recruit you as a video editor for this company. If you are interested in joining, then you can start by telling me what is your bank account password so I can give you your paycheck once you start working. Wow, what perfect timing! I should tell them now before they change their minds. It also pays 6000 per month. Not bad for a part-timer. Wait, hold the phone. This is kind of weird. Looking at it closely now, the pay is huge for a part-timer. And emojis for a former male? Also, this company, if I'm not wrong, then this company is about making money. Then it doesn't make sense why they would hire a video editor. Okay, before I do anything, let me be sure that this is the real deal. And look at it again. I knew it! This is a job scam! That scammer has guts, I can say that. Thank goodness I listened to my teacher about it. Wait, what did she say again? I think she said... Okay class, so today we'll be learning about scams. I know there is a lot of scams to look out for. So today, we will be talking about job scams. So what is job scams, some of you are wondering? Well, it's a type of scam and normally found from messages in which a scammer claims to be a recruiter and saw your resume on a job board. They will often send you a link that you will need to fill to join and ask you for sensitive information such as identification or bank account numbers. By knowing this, you can avoid getting scammed, but some of them may be real recruiters, so you have to check very closely. Other ways to check for scams are misspelled words, emojis that should not be there, ridiculous pays, and if the company is real. But I think you'll use it in the future when you guys are older. I really miss her. I wish to see her one more time so I can ask her how to get a job. Hmm? Who texted me? Well, I guess it's another scammer. Who else? Finally, my sad path of finding a job has come to an end. Oops, 